night. What you guys up to? Are you guys gonna kiss or fight? <laughs> With these two, you never know. Oh, she rejected you. I'm sorry. I still love you. Hey, it's been a while since I've made a vlog. I hope you guys like this one. Honestly, I don't really know what today's vlog will entail. It's kind of just gonna be random, but I know I have some stuff to show you guys and update you guys on. Obviously, I moved to a new house and have a new studio, so I'll give you guys a few sneak peeks at that. Also, just wanted to update you guys on kind of my new day-to-day -day routine, my new artist life here in Seattle. And also, I have a lot of footage that I filmed back in San Francisco and also when I first moved here. So I'm gonna try to tie all that up into one well-organized, hopefully enjoyable vlog. Okay, first off here is a quick look at my new studio setup. I know I've shown you guys glimpses here and there, um, but yeah, there's still so much that I wanna do. I wanna mount some shelves up here. I want to have plants, maybe dangly plants and succulents. I gotta hang up a lot of artwork on these walls. So still a work in progress, but basically this is my computer and painting room. And then outside in the other bedroom, we have my printing room. So here is the second guest bedroom, which is right across from my studio. And I've turned it into a guest bedroom slash printing room. Um, here are some prints that unfortunately got jammed or messed up. So sad, so much wasted paper and ink. And as you can tell, it's still very messy. I have my wall shelves that I wanted to install and the wall shelf brackets. My old office chair, which is unfortunately quite disgusting now, thanks to my cats. But I also wanted to show you guys some new works in progress that I've been painting lately. This one is a commission oil painting of this beautiful client and her adorable little puppy. Look at him. And she has gorgeous ombre hair. So it was my first time painting ombre. I really like it. I might be thinking about trying it out for myself in real life. We will see. This one is another commission that um, I'm only partially done with the first layer, but it features a narwhal mermaid. So basically a mermaid with a little unicorn slash narwhal horn. And she's holding a magical little jellyfish in her hand and she's inside of like a swamp. And it's my first time drawing, or I guess painting, um, a woman kind of laying down on her stomach. So this is a really interesting composition and perspective. One thing I do love is the view from my studio window. So you can see here is sunset time and the colors of the water and the mountains and the trees. Oh my gosh, fall in Seattle is so pretty. So I haven't done a house tour yet. I've really been meaning to film one, but we're still not fully finished with unpacking and cleaning and organizing. So I thought today I'd, I'd at least show you guys a quick tour of my upstairs, which includes like my studio and the master bedroom. Right now we're inside the master bedroom, but I really wanted to show you guys my closet first. So as you can see, it's quite the mess in here. I haven't fully unpacked all of my old clothes yet, and I'm already starting to pack for an upcoming trip to China. I'm actually leaving in a few days, so I'm both packing and unpacking at the same time. I also have a bunch of new clothes that I bought online because Seattle is actually getting cold, and I haven't had to wear winter clothes for like the last five years, and I'm not ashamed to admit this, but I just don't fit in to the same size that I used to five years ago. So I've had to update my pants, sweaters, things like that um, to prepare for the upcoming winter. But yeah, while I was unpacking, I found a bunch of clothes that I just don't think I would ever wear again. Like these crop tops <laughs> that I used to wear uh, during my raving days. Actually, I... Don't want to say raving days like I'm never going to rave again. I love raves, I love concerts, I love going to see live music shows, um, but I just don't think I'll be wearing this type of outfit anymore. I just feel like now I value comfort first, so instead of wearing like a denim crop top corset, I would just go in like my workout clothes. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like it's time to clean up my closet, get rid of some old things that I don't need that maybe someone else will find use for. And because I only wore these at raves, I've worn them maybe like one or two times. And of course they're washed. So I think I'm gonna list some stuff for sale on Poshmark. 
Also, this past year, I've been to a lot of weddings. I'm really honored that so many of my close friends would want me to be a part of their wedding. And I have been bridesmaid three times already. I'm actually going to be bridesmaid for the fourth time when I go to China for my cousin's wedding. So I've accumulated quite a few bridesmaid dresses. And I thought, since I'm never going to wear them again, I should probably also sell them on Poshmark to any other bridesmaids or people looking for like a pastel pink romantic dress. So I have two of them here. This one is from Beholden, which is the anthropology wedding brand. It's got these beautiful frilly sleeves. This one over here is also pale pink, but a slightly different shade. Also from Beholden, so I guess a very popular brand for bridesmaids dresses. But yeah, this one is cute. It's got like a halter top with some nice little ruching or scrunching. I don't even know what it's called in the in the center. So it's very flattering and you can eat a lot of cake. If anyone out there is going to be a bridesmaid soon with this very popular pastel pink color palette, hit me up on Poshmark. So for those of you who don't know, Poshmark is a great app where you can buy and sell used clothes. And I like it because not only does it help me declutter my current situation, but it's also great for the environment. It encourages the recycling of clothes and discourages people from wasting. So if you guys are interested in checking out Poshmark, please click the link on the screen and in the description below, you can find my closet with the username Happy Tea Artist. And hopefully my old rave clothes and fancy bridesmaid dresses will find a lovely new home. And today we're actually having guests over for the first time in a while so I'm gonna be cooking. Um, we have about 10 people coming so I think I'm gonna make hopefully make something that they like. So this is my main dish. It is a slow cooked beef pot roast. Thank you to my fiance's mom for gifting us with this awesome crock pot. And yeah, I still have a few hours left to go, but this is one of my favorite dishes. It's actually quite easy to make, so maybe I'll actually make like a cooking video about this if you guys are interested. By the way, this is our new kitchen. Um, again, I still have to tidy up a bunch of stuff, but I really wanted to show you guys because it's probably my favorite place in the house. Ever since I have a large enough kitchen to cook for a lot of people. I've been loving hosting, which is something I never used to love to do, so. <laughs> also today, I have to package this little drawing here. Um, I was fortunate enough to participate in a group show with Wow X Wow Gallery, and she was adopted by a lovely new home in Scotland, actually. So you guys might have seen her on Instagram already, but yeah, I have to say goodbye to this baby. This is the drawing that I stayed up all night working on for like pretty much eight hours. I was like, oh, a drawing will take less time than a painting. And I just started working and I was in the flow and I didn't stop until the sun was rising. So to package originals, I always overload the boxes with bubble wrap because I'm so paranoid of things getting broken. I've actually never had a painting arrive broken yet, so. I'm quite proud of my bubble wrap skill resume. Fun fact, I actually reuse bubble wrap. Basically, if you get a roll of bubble wrap that can maybe wrap around, I would say like five-ish paintings, it costs like $20 for me on Amazon. So whenever I can, if I have any bubble wrap from like other packages I order from Amazon, I will save them. These were the bubble wraps. This was. This was the bubble wrap that I used for my solo show in Denver this past summer and I had packaged all my paintings with it and then when I flew with my paintings and of course unloaded everything to hang for the show, I actually took this bubble wrap back with me because there's nothing wrong with saving money, even if it's like a few dollars. So while I package this little baby up, I will, I guess, talk to the camera. I usually don't multitask when I film a vlog. I'm usually just like pointing the camera at something or pointing it at myself. So today I'm gonna try something different. I do feel like my vlogs sometimes are getting a little, I wouldn't say stale, but I feel like I just follow a very similar format when I edit my videos. And I am feeling a little bored and wanting to try something new, but I really don't know how to like, edit a vlog in an interesting way. 
Yeah, if you guys have any tips on how I can make these vlogs more interesting, please let me know. So yeah, lately, for some reason, I just had like an epiphany of some sort. Maybe it's because I finally decided to stop worrying so much about social media and just kind of be more authentic and carefree. Um, I've just really thoroughly been enjoying life the last few weeks. I have you guys to thank mostly for that. Um, when I put out that honest life update video and I put, put out something similar on Instagram as well where I just kind of shared my recent insecurities and worries. I really didn't know what the response would be like and the fact that so many of you out there are not only so sweet and encouraging of me but also for each other, it just made me feel like I'm so grateful to have the online family that I do and oh, it just makes me really happy that you guys are here and you guys are hanging out with me while I'm packaging orders. Um, but yeah, it's just like, I don't know, I think I just shifted my mindset. I realized I could either work like a hundred percent and maybe make a little bit more money and you know squeeze a little bit more productivity out of my day, but if I'm working a hundred percent, I don't give myself any time to really enjoy life. Or I could work maybe 70% and then spend 30% of the time like relaxing, socializing, or just stopping and smelling the roses, like enjoying little things. Yeah, I'll make a little less money and maybe be a little less productive, but overall I would have a very happy life. No pun intended. So yeah, lately I've just been like really consciously trying to make the effort to remind myself to slow down, to you know, not worry so much about every little thing, not hold myself to such an impossible standard. And I know I can't say this enough, it's like a broken record, but thank you guys so much for listening to me and being there for me and just being like the best online family I could ever dream of. I don't know, I think I just shifted my mindset. I realized I could either work like a hundred percent and maybe make a little bit more money and you know squeeze a little bit more productivity out of my day but if i'm working a hundred percent i don't give myself any time to really enjoy life or i could work maybe 70 percent and then spend 30 percent of the time like relaxing socializing or just stopping and smelling the roses like enjoying little things yeah, I'll make a little less money and maybe be a little less productive, but overall, I would have a very happy life. No pun intended. Lately, I've just been like really consciously trying to make the effort to remind myself to slow down, to you know, not worry so much about every little thing, not hold myself to such an impossible standard. And I know I can't say this enough, it's like a broken record, but thank you guys so much for listening to me and being there for me and just being like the best online family I could ever dream of. Okay, finally done packaging this. See, soft like a pillow now. I can pretty much <laughs> sleep on this. There's no way this frame will get broken. Now I'm just gonna put it into a box and ship it off to its new home. Okay, now that I am done packaging my drawing, I'm gonna go back and tackle this closet because the guests are gonna arrive soon and I'm giving them a tour of my new house and I don't want them to see my closet like this. Ah. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog now and get back to cleaning because clearly there's still a lot of work left to be done. But I just wanted to thank Poshmark again for supporting my channel and the art community and also for helping me clean up my messy closet. Don't forget you can download the Poshmark app by following the link on the screen or in the description below. And yeah, I guess this is the end of the vlog. I'm gonna end this vlog sitting on the floor, but I just wanted to thank you all so much for all of your encouraging comments especially these last few weeks when I have been just kind of venturing out and sharing more of my intimate thoughts. Um, I just really appreciate you guys genuinely being there for me and just being such a pleasant, supportive, awesome group of people. If you ever have any feedback from me, including the types of videos you'd love to see, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Hopefully, I'll keep producing content that you love. If you ever have any feedback from me, including the types of videos you'd love to see, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. So take care and until next time, bye.